ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਤਿੰਨੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦਾ ਚੱਕਰ ਕੱਢ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਵਾਜ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਨ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਟੁਡੇ ਹੀ ਵਾਜ ਇਨ ਵਿਕਟੋਰੀਆ ਆ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਜਗਮੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਾਜ ਹੇਅਰ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਆਰ ਟਰੈਵਲਿੰਗ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਾਈਡ to uh, tell about their policies and uh, so election ode bare vi apni gal baat hogi us to alawa aaj pix uh, organization jehdi hagi hai unna ne drugs and gang te a car rally jehdi hai oh kaddi si ki jehdi apne sade sanja tv station fyi media ne ode live coverage kiti si oh da kafi bharma hugara milya different different spots te ja ke different different stripe de politicians na ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਬੇਅਰ ਕ੍ਰੀਕ ਪਾਰਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਾ ਫਾਈਨਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਥੇ ਫਿਨਿਸ਼ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੂਥ ਲੱਗੇ ਸੀ ਆ ਦ ਆਰਸੀਐਮਪੀ ਬੂਥ ਆ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਸਟਾਪਰਸ ਲਾਰਡ ਆਫ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕਾਲਜਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਲਾਈਵ ਉਥੋਂ ਰਿਲੇ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਕਸੈਸਫੁਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਤੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਕਾਫੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਵਟਾਂਦਰਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਡਰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਗੈਂਗਸ ਤੇ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਠੱਲ ਪਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਲਾਰਡ ਆਫ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮੌਤ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਰੋਕ ਸਕੀਏ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਦੇ ਨੰਬਰਸ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੰਬਰ ਹੈ 553 ਸੋ ਇਹ ਨੰਬਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਹੁਣ ਵਧ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਨਿਰਾਸ਼ਾਜਨਕ ਖਬਰ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲਿਸਟ ਸਾਇੰਟਿਸਟ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਡਾਕਟਰਸ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹਲੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਆ ਖੁੱਲੀ ਛੁੱਟੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ 20% ਕੇਸਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸਟਿਲ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਫੁੱਲੀ ਵੈਕਸੀਨੇਟਿਡ ਸੋ ਫੁੱਲੀ ਵੈਕਸੀਨੇਟਿਡ ਹੋਣ ਦੇ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਵੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਚਾਂਸਸ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਸੀ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਕਾਫੀ ਗਰਮ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਸਦਕਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅੱਜ ਗੈਸਟ ਹੈ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੰਮੀ ਚੌੜੀ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਗੋਡੀ ਹੋਗ ਆ ਫੁੱਲ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਰਡਨ ਹੋਗ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਏ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਵਾਈਟ ਰੌਕ ਫੋਰ 10 ਇਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਏ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਚਰ ਹੀ ਸਰਵਡ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ 20 ਇਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਰਵ ਓਨ ਏ ਕਪਲ ਆਫ ਕੈਬਨਟ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ ਪੋਸਟਸ ਅੰਡਰ ਗੋਰਡਨ ਕੈਂਬਲ and us to baad last day as a member of parliament uh, from south sri white rock from uh, december 2017 to october 2019 so odon jido inna ne apne member of parliament bane hai south sri white rock riding to utho after almost over 50 years to baad pehla jada liberal candidate chuneya gaya si ga if i go through his resume um i i tell you his stellar resume he served the community very well and uh, not only him but his father dr allen hogg jede ke utthe prominent physician si ke white rock he delivered almost 1100 babies and the times uh, during that period in 1954 um he was instrumental and opening a hospital there and there is a you know there are more to it and uh, uh, mr gordy hog involved in a politics at a very young age um, and uh, when he went in front of white rock city council to request vote for a team to go to edmonton for the championship and uh, upon coming uh, home hog said that he thought he whole thing had been pointless to which his mother replied so i love that your mother's quote son i hoped i had always raised to be the kind of person that if you didn't like something you wouldn't complain about it but you had to get involved and try and make a difference and hog has repeatedly said that this is what led him to run for politics first time at a municipal then provincially and federally welcome to cj sidhu show mr so thank you so much it's a pleasure to be here cj so um you served the community well and uh, you still serving and on a various capacity so now we have to talk about the federal election 
and you decided to run again uh what is the your reason at stage of your life when you are very comfortable and uh, why why you would like to run again for federally as a member of parliament for south sri white rock so I'm giving a bit of context to that so <laughs> as you you pointed out that uh, my mother <coughs> admonished me and said I hope you wouldn't complain if you didn't like something you get involved and try and make a difference and that has sort of been a mantra <coughs> for me and uh, when I finished as uh, as mayor and didn't run again and I was at that point I was also a probation officer and the warden of our largest youth jail on the board of a number of non-profit societies I had uh, chaired the mayor's council of Metro Vancouver and I thought it was time to, to move on so I didn't run and then Wilf Hurd who happened to be the MLA of the day for South Surrey White Rock he uh, resigned to run federally and Gordon Campbell approached me and asked whether I would be interested in considering running as an MLA so I looked at that and I thought being able to the, the experiences I'd had locally and some of the changes we were able to make in the city of White Rock I thought maybe those are some things we could do provincially to make a difference provincially and one of my my concerns was that so often governments don't don't listen to the people who are actually the people who are going to be if affected and impacted by policy and practice I've got one specific example I was the minister of children and families yes. and and we, we were I was working at the looking at the downtown east side of Vancouver and I said to the deputy minister well with the policy procedures they had who do we have that that actually works down there, lives down there. And so he gave me a list of people who were consulting with, and they were people who were executive directors of, of societies. I said, I, I want some people who actually live there. If we're making these changes, I want people who are living on the street to talk to us and do that. And we were able to do some of that, and then we later on created something called Community Living BC for people with intellectual disabilities and wanted to move that outside of government so that there was more flexibility and I wanted the operating board to be people with intellectual disabilities and their family members so we were able to so, and I got really excited about being able to make those kind of changes that actually connected with the people that they were going to impact and so that was what kept me going and then I finished running as as a uh, MLA after 20 years and three different cabinet posts and caucus chair and a number of other things including uh, working with indigenous sports and recreation so I finished that, I was, and then I finished my PhD. I was going to move on, and I wa wanted to get a different theoretical concept to what I was doing. And then, of course, Diane Watts resigned as the Member of Parliament for South, and so I was approached by the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister's office, what I consider, and I thought, here's another chance to be able to, to have a bit of a podium, to be able to influence and make these kind of changes that, that actually impact people in a meaningful way. And, and that's part of what I studied with my doctorate. So I was trying to, I always had this sense, kept saying to myself, I don't want school to get in the way of my education. And what I meant by that was, I want to have real life experiences. And being a probation officer, being a warden, being a foster parent, sitting on many nonprofit boards, gave me those experiences. And then to go back and do a doctorate at Simon Fraser and be able to get the theory. So a chance to apply some of those things in ways that can make I think make systemic changes, make our world a better place, make, right? I think we live in the best part of the best province of the best country in the world. And I think we've got to keep moving that on. So, so sorry I to talk think, so much. Uh, Mr. Hope, uh, you can see the excitement and the passion of uh, kind of work he does. So, in other can, my question is, you see, in our community, there are different levels. The mayor, Provincial MLA, Cabinet Minister, Provincially, Federal MP, but you have to win the election. So, I have to say that the introduction of my mother said that if you want to change something, you got involved and make a change. You don't have to do the 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 involvement in the community as a doctor. And another thing, introduction I forgot. Thank you for bringing that up. सत्तर साल दी उम्र जे इन्हने डॉक्टरेट पीएचडी फिनिश की थी जिधि पॉलिसी रिलेटेड है सो इन्हने दी काफी इन डेफ्थ जिधि नॉलेज है की है सो इन्हने कहने दा मतलब है कि जो प्रोवेशन ऑफिसर तो लेके एस ए फादर ऑफ यंग बॉय ब्लेयर 
ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਐ ਫੋਸਟਰ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਸੋ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਦੈਟਸ ਯੂਰ ਜੈਨੈਟਿਕ ਮੇਕਅਪ ਆਈ ਗੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਸੇਵਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਰੱਖਣ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਫੇਰ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਲੜਨ ਲੱਗੇ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹੋਗ ਦ ਮੇਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਲੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਕੀ ਪੁਆਇੰਟਸ ਆ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਔਰ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਸਾਈਡ ਬਟ specifically for your riding of south sri white rock is there are issues there that is nationally similar than what your riding is well, well certainly one of the one of the big issues is is what's happening with with climate change and the impact that's having and certainly the experiences we're having in british columbia with the fires and the floods we're seeing in parts of europe that's a significant issue and we still take american coal american thermal coal then it rides through our waterfront in in white rock and south surrey and goes out to the fraser port authority and and goes to china and this is thermal coal and this is american thermal coal and it contributes so well canada represents probably 2.5% of the uh, of the contaminations that go into the air if you count the coal that's coming through canada and going to china and china's up in the 20% range of of contaminants we've got to we've got to look at that so canada's got a great plan in terms of what we're doing for for to, to manage climate change and we've not just set goals but we actually have set a process and a plan for the achievement of each one of those goals i think one of the things that governments often do and and oppositions often do is say here's our goal but they don't have a step by step plan to achieve that and by having a step by step plan you can challenge the every bit of the way and you can see whether or not you're doing it and you'll know quickly if you haven't been able to do that so certainly one specific issue for our community is is global warming and and the impact that's having and it's never been more evident so in and me puchha si us you know because i have to translate so we yeah. keep in a bite size so pehla inna ne issue kiya ki jehde environmental issue the climate change da hai kyunki inna di jehdi riding hai ਸਾਊਥ ਸਰੀ ਵਾਈਟ ਰੌਕ ਉਥੋਂ ਟ੍ਰੇਨਸ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਥਰਮਲ ਕੋਲ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਯੂ ਐਸ ਏ ਤੋਂ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਆ ਤੇ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਥਰੂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਫਿਰ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹ ਕਲਾਈਮੇਟ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਨਵਾਇਰਮੈਂਟਲ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਆ ਉਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਰਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਫੋਨ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਓਪਨ ਆ ਜੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਆ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਫੋਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਤੇ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹੋਗ ਨੂੰ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਪੁੱਛ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਲ ਲਰਨ ਐਜੂਕੇਟਡ ਗਾਏ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਨੌਲੇਜ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸੋ ਗੋ ਹੈਡ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹੋਗ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਦੈਟਸ ਕਲਾਈਮੇਟ ਚੇਂਜ ਇਨਵਾਇਰਮੈਂਟਲ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਿਊਜ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਫਾਇਰਸ ਇਨ ਕਲੋਨਾ ਐਂਡ ਬਰਨਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ 270 ਐਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਇਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਵਾਸ 258 ਫਾਇਰਸ ਆਰ ਸਟਿਲ ਬਰਨਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਲਾਸਟ ਅ ਵਨ ਸਮਾਲ town all together yeah. litton yeah. and uh, it, it, that's now is a reality if we look at worldwide what's happening in greece and other countries it's a pretty alarming situation very dramatic and there are still <clears throat> deniers out there there are still people that are denying that that this is starting to happen so i hopefully this is bringing waking those people up that actually our world is changing and climate is a dramatic part of that and we've got to be ever more careful in terms of looking at and protecting our environment and certainly a tie that to covid and we can talk more about that in yes and uh, inna nu main puchha si ga kyunki environmental issue aap nu pata hi hai jehdiya agga lag rahiyan global warming da uch kafi contribution hega ya te aap jive mr hog da kehna hai ki aap ek chhota ja pind jehda hega ya wiped out and uh, any agga people ghar tusi chhadna lot of memories and mementos people lost their lifetime you know and uh, it's pretty devastating uh, so inada kehna ki eh bada narasha janak jada issue hai so that environment is a big issue what are the other issues yeah. mr well, i think as you touched on environment and just imagine yourself and your family if you lost everything yeah. like all of your memories all of your connections with your ancestors all of the things that are crucial to you and they burn like happened it like yeah. gone 
ਸੋ ਦੈਟਸ ਲੈਟਸ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਯਾ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੈਂ ਹੀ ਉਹੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਜੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਆਪਾਂ ਦੇਖਣੀ ਬਾਕੀ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਥੋੜੀਆਂ ਯਾਦਾਂ ਆ ਉਮਰ ਭਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਮੈਮਰੀਜ਼ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਹੋ ਵੀ ਥੋੜੀਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਦੀ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਵਾਈਪ ਆਊਟ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਨਰਾਸ਼ਾ ਜਨਕ ਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੀਰ ਜਸਟ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਵੀਰ ਨਾਟ ਵੀਰ ਨਾਟ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਵੁਡਸ ਯੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਸਰਟਨਲੀ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਕੰਟਰੀਸ ਥੈਟ ਹੈਸ ਬੀਨ the most effective in in vaccinations and we, i think i'm very proud of the position that uh, the that canada has taken and how we've led in many ways but we're not out of the woods we're not through the covid yet we've got uh, the delta variants coming we've got all those challenges that are still facing there is always talk about fourth wave so. fourth wave coming so th- so that's a big issue and and our our world our country our world has not faced anything like this for a long long time so we're talking about the covid and the impact that has for the economy what's that going to do for for the growth of our of our businesses or for our economy to be able to move forward so that's a big challenge right now so and then kya ki jada jada covid te hun gal aa gayi si ki environment to baad te oh jada next concern hai oh kende ki apne mr prime minister trudeau te inna di party ne bahut sona job kita vaccination te par eh hale jadi ਹਉਆ ਇਹ ਖਤਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਡੈਲਟਾ ਵੈਰੀਐਂਟ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੇਸ ਵਧ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਹਲੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਓਵਰ ਯੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਮਿਸ ਹੋਗ देयर इज अ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੈਟ ਫੋਰਥ ਵੇਵ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਇਵਨ ਆਵਰ ਡਾਕਟਰਸ ਆਵਰ ਐਕਸਪਰਟਸ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ so things i think it will take some time when we normalize these things yeah i i agree with that and certainly <coughs> the, the covid i mean we haven't seen our generation hasn't seen anything like this but we, in fact you go back to even try, coming out of the world wars that were there the, the challenges there this is equivalent to that in terms of how do you rebuild your economy how do you rebuild all of the things that are crucial and important to you and we've got that challenge that we're we're facing right now and i think we've been very fortunate and there's been as as we worked our way through that and i was meeting with a a small business woman today and she is losing uh nine staff members who are people who are going back to school and she said i i we would have had to fold we would have gone we were bankrupt we couldn't move until we got the the support through through the serb and the different the different financial supports that we have there and Uh, last weekend I was talking to a fellow who owns a, a cabinet company uh, and he has 60 employees and he was telling me he was about ready to declare bankruptcy shut everything down and he got the the money the support it built again and he said he's never been busier than he is now and there are so many businesses who've go- gone through that and and had to face that and the the covid and everything shutting down and so gov- our government and governments around the world have been pretty good about stepping up and supporting and i'm so glad that uh, in canada there has been some agreement around how that worked it didn't come out quick as fast as most people wanted it to and certainly uh, how do you how do you blend down from that so people don't become committed to that because we've got to get the economy moving again in a positive way but but our uh, looks like our inflation rate is up and things are moving yeah so mr hognu map chasi ki ra ਪੈਨਡੈਮਿਕ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ 100 ਸਾਲ ਬਾਅਦ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਮੀ ਗੋਡੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਇਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਕੰਪੈਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਵੀ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਰ 1 ਐਂਡ 2 ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਉਹਦੇ ਇਕੁਅਲੈਂਟੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਨੇ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਆ ਸੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਲਪ ਸਰਬ ਦੇ ਥਰੂ ਜਾਂ ਦੂਜੇ ਰਿਸੋਰਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸਿਸ ਨਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਸੀ ਜੇ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਡਾ ਤਾਂ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਬੰਦ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੀ ਜਾਂ ਬੈਂਕਰਪਟ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਨਾਓ ਮੂਵਿੰਗ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਵੇਅਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਓ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸਿਸ ਆਰ ਓਪਨਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇੰਪਲੋਇਮੈਂਟ ਰੇਟਸ ਆਰ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਦ ਚੈਲੰਜ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਸ਼ੋਰਟੇਜ ਆਫ ਵਰਕਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਅਨਦਰ ਚੈਲੰਜ ਆਈ ਟਾਕ ਟੂ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਲ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ and uh, and to touch upon that there is a, there is two issues that I want you to touch upon one is shortage of workers now
um, there are a lot of people saying, okay, we can work for you, but if you can pay us cash, but that's wrong thing to do, unethical, illegal. And uh, so they said there are people because, you know, so are we making our communities lazy by doing that? Well, I think, I think a number of things have happened. We've always had some degree of that with when we've had unemployment insurance or, and, and people have, have taken unemployment and they've gone on welfare and different types of systems to support. And there's always been some abuse in that. And no matter what strategies you have that are going to address things, you, you can't manage all of that. And so when the decision was made that we've got to support businesses that came out in a large way, and there's, there clearly is some abuse, and that is starting to wind down. But I was listening today, uh, this morning, early this morning, to the, uh, the executive director of the Canadian uh, Beverage and Restaurant Alliance, and Food Alliance, and he was saying that, that that is happening across Canada and indeed around the world. Coming out of COVID, and he believes one of the things that's happened is these people who who uh, had one or two jobs and were working at restaurants, but they'd come into the restaurant and there wasn't, there weren't many uh, people, so they were sent home. So it was a lot of intermittent employment, and some of them worked two and three jobs. But he, he's saying that there, he's talked to a number of people who, as a result of COVID and sitting at home, they've decided maybe they're going to go back and, and try and find another kind of employment, maybe get more education. So there are certain challenges associated yes. with this, and so. Clearly, there's a lot of people going to lose, well, a lot of restaurants and businesses. Yeah, so I, <coughs> Mr. Hogg, you asked a clearly question, that there are small businesses. They said that they helped us, 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 and they created the issue that people who have been businesses, they said that they also got the cash, they got the cash, they got the cash. Now, businessmen, how did they get the cash? illegal, unethical, and unanu jeo pay karde, uda kui accounting ni, uda kui tax right for ni. Mr. Hogg da kena hai ki certain percentage of people always abuse jada hunda system da try karde hai na. Par ode naal naal enna ne ehe kaya ki pandemic jada si gaya was not a normal thing that, you know, it hit the communities like in your my age even, never seen something like that. So, e jadi cheej hui hai. ये तो जड़ा इम्पैक्ट हैगा जो उस तो हम बाहर निकलना है एंड उधर जड़े इम्पैक्ट्स होने हैं मतलब वर्कर्स दी लोड हैगी है उन अधी शॉर्टेज हैगी है उन्होंने क्या कि ड्यू एस पीरियड दे वेच लोग का ने ये भी सोच लिया कि आप पांच चलो प्रोफेशन चेंज कर दें स्टडी कर लेने कोई और प्रोफेशन you know, the temporary foreign workers, because of the restriction on the travel and immigration is halted and we are not coming. Students were big help in employment yeah. and temporary foreign workers are not coming. So it's a ripple effect, well, I absolutely. guess. Absolutely. And that, that's very dramatic. And, and there are a number of ways that clearly we've got to pick up the immigration and be able to handle that. We're, we're trying to help in Afghanistan and taking 20,000 people to assist in the, the challenges that are there, and certainly those are horrific challenges. But also in, in, our, own, in our own province, we've, uh, the federal government has signed this agreement with the, the province of British Columbia to get to $10 a day daycare. And that's a significant for a number of reasons. And in fact, I was talking with a, a member of the business improvement area in Surrey, and he was telling me that he and his wife, in order to, they've got a young child, and the cost of, of putting this child in, in, in daycare right now is the same amount that they're paying on their mortgage a month, and they've just bought, newly bought a house, and it's that expensive. He said, we, we can't survive with this. Our lifestyle is going to dramatically change. So he's looking forward to being able to get to the $10 a day daycare which is a dramatic difference, and it's also going to allow women to get into the workforce so we can have more people available to the workforce instead of the old, the old model of the, the man goes out and works and the, and the woman is there. Day, day, day. So hopefully that's going to enhance our workforce as well as we get more and more women into the workforce, which we so badly need. So, temporary foreign workers, travel restriction karke ho nahi aare, students nahi aapne aare, immigration jade basis te loki nahi aare dujiyan country yandu. Oda vi jada impact pe hai, par Mr. Hogda kena hai ki jada $10 day care hai, 
ਉਹਦਾ ਇਹ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਅਰ ਇਨਕਮ ਜਾਂ ਮਿਡਲ ਇਨਕਮ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਜੇ 10 ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਡੇ ਕੇਅਰ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਬੀਸੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਰਲ ਕੇ 10 ਡਾਲਰ ਡੇ ਕੇਅਰ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਫਿਰ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਸੋ ਮੋਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਇਨ ਵਰਕ ਫੋਰਸ ਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਹੈ ਉਹਦਾ ਵੀ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਾ ਲੈਟਸ ਸਵਿਚ ਅ ਗੇਅਰ ਲਿਟ ਬਿਟ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਅਲੂਡਡ ਟੂ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੀ ਸੈਡ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੀ ਡਰਮੈਟਿਕ ਐਂਡ ਟ੍ਰਮੈਟਿਕ situation there it happen all of a sudden and so fast that nobody imagined that in a such a short period that their leadership left the country and they took a control what what are your take on that well, well some of the uh, i was talking this morning with uh, the fellow who started the the veterans for walk uh, for p and i was uh, i was part of equitus that started with a number of of veterans and how we support our veterans some of our veterans uh, now who served in Afghanistan are getting phone calls cell calls from people that were there that helped them that were translators that people that helped them and invited them to house friends that they developed when they were serving in in uh, Afghanistan and and they're they're torn because these people are now they're worried they're going to find that they're going to search them out and that they're going to be after them and I one of them was telling me he was talking to a woman who and her family and she he said well how can you be phoning us that he said well I, i'm in a safe house right now but he said well what about can't they track your 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 cell phone and she said oh i never thought of that so th- we've got we right now that we put it we're sending canada is sending planes in there but they have to be able to get to the airport and and what's happening now is they blocking their ability to get to the airport so that's a significant dramatic challenge and and we're hoping that we're going to be able to get those people out of there who have served our country and uh, have supported our veterans and our veterans are certainly very emotionally involved in it i guess as all of us should be in terms of what's happening in in our world and uh, so that significant challenge is how how do we do that how do how do these people get to the airport where where canada and some other countries are there ready to take them out and let them come come to our country and so we can support and assist them as we've done through all kinds of disasters and catastrophes around the world and that's a, a role that I'm proud that Canada plays so man and pucha si ye afghanistan di jehdi situation all of a sudden in a short period de vich taliban ne unu take over kar liya utthe leadership chhad ke bach gayi so inna mein kya bhi jehde inna da kehna da matlab hai ki jehde utthe veterans for walk jehde people unna ne inna di gal baat hundi rehndi hai ਉਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਫੌਜੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੈਲਪ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਾਂ ਅਦਰ ਵਿਜੜੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਉੱਥੇ ਫਸੇ ਆ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰਨਾ ਮੰਗਦਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਪਲੇਨ ਭੇਜਦਾ ਪਰ ਉੱਥੇ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਤੇ ਇੰਨੀ ਕੇਅਰਸ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈਂਡ ਲੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਫੈਸਿਲਿਟੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੋਂ ਉੱਥੋਂ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੱਢਣੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਬੜੇ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਮਿਸ ਗੋਡੀ ਹੋਗ ਆ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਫਾਰ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਆਫ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਫਰਮ ਸਾਊਥ ਸਰੀ ਵਾਈਟ ਰੌਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਫੋਨ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਓਪਨ ਹੈ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਐਨੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਵਿਦ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਫੀਲ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਟੂ ਕਾਲ ਹਿਮ ਆਵਰ ਨੰਬਰਸ ਆਰ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਸੋ ਜਸਟ ਰਿਲੇਟਡ ਟੂ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਸੇਮ ਇਸ਼ੂ देयर ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡਾਸ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਔਨ ਥੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਦੇ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਔਰ ਵਾਟ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਾਟ ਦਿਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਦ ਥੇਰਸ ਬੀਨ 20000 ਆਇਡੈਂਟੀਫਾਈਡ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਵੇਦਰ ਥੈਟ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਲਾਰਜਰ ਔਰ ਨਾਟ ਬਟ but one of the things that, that i think makes canada strong is we're a multicultural pluralistic society those are va- things that we value and we value that type of mix so i gave a, a tedx talk a few years ago and i talked about sameness and my belief is that wherever we go in the world most people care about the same things they care about family they care about community they care about trying to get ahead whether it's getting ahead emotionally or spiritually or or financially but they want to get ahead and and promote their family and and their upbringing and i think that the one of the great strengths of, of canada is that we have so many different cultures values all coming together and holding on to that but but there's a sameness there a sameness that makes canada unique and i think that's one of the reasons why we are i think the best country in the world because we we do that so when we're talking about Af- afghanis and and others coming we need them we we've got a vast country we need more people our growth isn't the way that 
as, as fast as it has to be in order to keep our economy going and growing. So we need more immigrants, we need more people, and that's one of the great things about this country is, is the openness and the understanding that we're multicultural, we're pluralistic, and that's a strength that a lot of countries don't have. So, I have asked you that the restriction or the problem caused by this is that we have a great society, Canada is a great country, and every country has a great nationality, and it's all welcome. So, the immigration is a lot of load. The problem is that we have a great country, and 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 we have a great country, because it's a great welcoming country in Canada. And I fully agree with you, one of the best countries to live in. And, uh, and we are such a, you know, diverse communities with, uh, you know, unbelievably, amazingly living together in a harmony. It's yeah. just, uh, I get very excited yeah, as you do, uh, Gordy, and, uh, and that's a blessing. So, uh, moving on to a couple of other issues, uh, as you mentioned, about uh, immigration and travel are two right now pretty uh, contentious and kind of difficult issues because government have to work around the COVID uh, protocols. So, some people are still stranded in India. The immigration files are backed up because of the either marriage clause or parents or grandparents and uh, uh, what, what are your take on these restrictions? Uh, what are your thoughts and when we can see a light end of the tunnel? Well, I think one of the important values is ensuring that the Canadians get back home and a good friend of mine, Raj, is, is in India and that he can't, can't get back and uh, I got an email from him yesterday in terms of what, how is he going to make his way back here. And, and there are obviously challenges because there are no direct flights coming to Canada now. And even if you get a flight potentially to another country, then entering Canada and the, the challenges that are there. So, so there's that value. But there's also how do we protect ourselves in terms of the impact of COVID. So that's that, that delicate balance. Our, yeah. our value is how do we bring people back together. But our value is also we don't want to get other people, more people, to catch COVID. To, to the challenges that come with that. So it's that difficult balance. So right now, we've opened the, the border so that from, with the Americans can come to Canada, but it's not an easy thing for Americans to come to Canada. And I know that some people have approached me and said, well, it's, why have we opened the border? Well, it's, it's not that easy. You, you're, those the people come in, they have to have had a test, and it has to have been a recent test. They have to be uh, quarantine for, for 14 days, depending upon what that happens. So it's not people that are coming across just to... to but I don't think the people who are fully vaccinated, they have to quarantine? They, they have to be, if they, have to, if they can't meet all those tests, there is a quarantine that goes on with them. And they, but because they go through all that test, people aren't just coming across the border to go shopping and things. <laughs> They've got to be coming back for a, for a lengthy period of time. And I've, there are a number of Americans who have houses at Whistler and, and, and different places to go. So they're coming. But in, in the South Surrey area, there are a lot of people that used to come to shop yes. using the American dollar. And that they, they can't do that because if they come across and then if they're going back to the States, they've got too many hurdles to go through it. So it's got to be something that, that is more lengthy than, than what's happening there. So that's a, a challenge to, to, to look at that. And there are uh, a couple areas that at Point Roberts, for instance, there are three areas of, of, of the United States that people, that Americans have to go through Canada to get into to the United, get into South, in Southern United States. And one of them is Point Roberts, another one is in Alaska, and, and another one is, uh, is in Minnesota. But so those are three unique areas that are, provide a different challenge. So being able to adapt all of these challenges is, is a really significant process to be able to, to find ways to, to make that work for people. And so that's the, the big challenge that we're facing now. So, uh, Mr. Hogan, I'm going to tell you immigration, the travel, the India, the people who are in India, parents, grandparents, the applications, 
ਦੇ ਆਰ ਬਿਹਾਈਂਡ ਇਵਨ ਮੈਰਿਜ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਔਰ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਵੀ ਉਥੇ ਫਸਿਆ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੀ ਈਮੇਲ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਉਹਨੇ ਦੇਖਣਾ ਵੀ ਦੂਜੀ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਤੋਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਉਣਾ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੋਕੋਲਸ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਦੂਜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟ ਵੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰੋਂ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਵੱਧ ਜਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਅਮਰੀਕਨਸ ਜਦੋਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇੰਨਾ ਸੌਖਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਸ਼ਾਪਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਸ਼ਾਪਿੰਗ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਗ ਪੈਣ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਅ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟ ਆਵਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਗੋਇੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਥੈਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਯੂ نو ਇਵਨ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ ਵਰਕਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਡਾਕਟਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਫ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੀ ਪ੍ਰੀ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਂਜ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਰਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਸ਼ਨਸ we need to have those we can't have open until you know we create a herd immunity yes, and for that we need 80 to 90% vaccination and even godi as soon as like today my conversation with somebody like some third world countries or countries like china india and some other countries if they people are not vaccinated and we open the travel it can cause a havoc like Absolutely. how it started panada exactly yeah so what what do you take on that well oh, certainly that that's <coughs> one of the big challenges that that we face in terms of of, of that that balance between how, how do we make a living in the economy and how do we protect ourselves in terms of that and the uh, the federal government has just said that you're not going to be able to go on a flight you're not anybody who works for a government or things funded by government are going to have to prove that they've had their two vaccines that they are immune and i was uh, listening today to uh, to the uh, the care facilities private care facilities in bc and they're saying they want the same thing to happen for all of their care providers every staff member in there and so we still have people who are saying i don't want to have vaccines i don't want to be a part of that and that is uh, i mean people are entitled to to what they want to do but that that they're not going to be able to to travel they're not going to be able to work in various settings if if that's the position they take and there are a significant percentage of of people that that are have that belief system that that no I, there's I'm not going to do this not going to participate but if we're going to evolve we have to make the, those important steps to protect the majority and as you say the herd immunity herd immunity that comes with that yeah so man na gal kiti ji bhi eh bada mushkil ja kam hoya hai ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜੇ 80-90% ਦੇ ਕਰੀਬ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੈਕਸੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਸਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਰਡ ਵਰਲਡ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਜਾਂ ਅਦਰ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਜੇ ਵੈਕਸੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਖੋਲ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਜੋ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਆਪਦੀ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਨਾਲ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਸੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹੋਗ ਦਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਇੰਨਾ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੰਪਲੀਕੇਟਿਡ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ how how that be held and dealt but at the same time we have to listen to our healthcare uh, you know yeah. specialist dr bonnie henry they updating us all the time so we have a last year i we always talk how fast the time goes gordy let's come back to the elections and some people and opposition parties especially are accusing mr trudeau to pulling the plug because he seen the rise in the polls and he want to make a majority government what what are the timing you think was it right to call the election was it necessary to call the election and if that's the case what's your take on that well uh, i was approached by local media uh, print media before the announcement was made but there was lots of speculation and my answer to the, to the media was when when i ran in the last election in uh, was it 2019 the election and it was 18 months ago things were totally different there was no discussion about covid and all the things we were planning yes. to put in place and so the the platforms that were put out to the to the people of canada to the electorate were dramatically different than they are today it's a whole new ball game yes. today mm-hmm. and so i think it i think it's appropriate and uh, and again i said this lot before the election was called and before i heard a rationale being provided by other people so my position was I think this is an ideal time to go and talk to people given the type of things we're talking about that again dramatically new we haven't faced this for generations and we have to be able to have a platform that addresses covid that addresses our economy growing out of this and make sure that people are safe 
And that, I believe, it's, it's a good, there's no better time to be talking to people and getting their input and getting their ideas on what we should do to get through out of this unforeseen challenge that we have. So, Mr. Hoglu, I asked you that a lot of the opposition is saying that there is no pandemic. You can see the polls number that Mr. Trudeau has said that the opposition is saying that the election is clear and the government is saying that. But Mr. Hoglu, I asked you a question. So, I asked you to say that कि ये तो बढ़िया और कोई टाइम नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि लोगों क्लीयर मैसेज पता लगना चाहिए भी ये जीडिया बाकी पार्टियाँ या गौरमेंट है की कर सकती है ये जो पैनाडेमिक या कोविड का जो मुद्दा है इन्ना सीरीयस यू कि हैंडल कर सकते हैं सो इन्हों का कहना है इस तो बैटर जोड़ा जो टाइम है होर नहीं हो सकता सो मिस्टर होग आवर व्यूअर्स एंड एंड यूर राइडिंग पीपल वट वट यूर मैसेज टू दैम वाई दे शुड vote for a liberal, vote for you? Well, I think the most important thing is that uh, we're, we're facing, and I think our government has done a good job leading us through COVID, as we know that we're one of the highest vaccinated uh, countries in the world. We've responded well to that issue, and we're preparing and moving forward. We've saved a lot of businesses and made that work, and hopefully people's lives are going to be better as we move forward, but we still have those challenges to face as we move forward. So I think our party has represented us well and led us through this. I also think that uh, the other parties, most of them have helped support that and have been in agreement. There haven't been dramatic challenges, but there has, things have been slower than they would have been with a majority government. It, sometimes you have to move quickly, and that didn't happen as well and as quickly as, as we believe it should have. So that would be one reason. Secondly, I think that uh, the experiences that I've had and been blessed and the opportunities I've had to to work with so many different people, uh, to get so much input, uh, to be blessed with those opportunities and to learn from that. And I like to have the opportunity to again involve those people who are impacted by changes in legislation and policy and the experiences I've had to hopefully be able to contribute to ensuring that we continue to, to flourish and grow in South Surrey White Rock, in, in British Columbia and indeed in Canada and we live in the best place in the world and we've got to keep pushing to make sure it stays that way. So, my Mr. Hogan, you have some final thoughts on this election. You want to say that you want to say that to our listeners and viewers. You want to say that the first thing is that our party, the Liberal Party, and Mr. Trudeau, the team, has been very hard work. They can help and provide help. They have done the rest of the minority government करके कई डिसीजन जोड़े है वह डिले हो जाते उन्होंने देर लग जाती है इस करके ये कहें है कि मैं जो कम्यूनिटी लिए कम किया है या मैं अगे जो कम कर सदा वो सदका ना केवल लिबरल पार्टी बाकी मैं भी वोट पाओ सो थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर होग यू आर ऑलवेज कम टू माई शो एंड वी एप्रीशिएट योर टाइम एंड गुड लक टू यू Thank you so much, CJ, and it's a, a pleasure to be here, and it's wonderful to get to communicate with your audience uh, across uh, this wonderful country and indeed around the world. It's uh, a delight to be able to have that opportunity and this platform to talk, and I hope that if, if they have any questions out there that they feel comfortable getting a hold of us. We're, we're in the phone book. So any of your contact uh, website or phone numbers? Yeah, so we've got, uh, I've got the, the business card, and I, I don't know that they can, you can post it there, so maybe they can... They can uh, post it. Have you got the card there? Yes, yes, I yeah, do so have a card. So as uh, you know, the uh, Mr. PhD, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Gordy Hogue, and uh, let me see the numbers here: six zero four three eight five six eight six eight. So anybody want to contact him or help him, the phone number once again: six zero four three eight five six eight six eight. And uh, it's www.teamgordy.com, very easy website. And you know his office is in a semi omo mall, and uh, you know it's an easy mall to get around. Lot of parking. You go there, have a coffee. Starbucks is there. Liquor store is there. <laughs> Save on foods is there. So easy. So that's his his office. So. Anybody want to contact Gordy or help him or whatever, you're most welcome to do that. So thank you, Mr. Hoag, once again. So Sadi Gal Chalri, Mr. Gordy Hoag, Jale ki member of parliament, lay election lade, uh, this coming election on spend September 20th uh, and uh, from South Surrey, White Rock. 
ਸੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਆਫਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਟੈਕਟ ਕਰਕੇ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਹੈ ਅ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹੋਗ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਮਿਊਨਿਸਪਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਐਂਡ ਫੈਡਰਲੀ ਸੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੋ ਸੂਚਨਾਵਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਂਝੀਆਂ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਅ ਸਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਆ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਐਫ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਲਾਈਵ ਔਨ 에ਅਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਔਨ ਡੇ ਟੂ ਡੇ ਗਰੋਸਰੀ ਸਟੋਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੀ 78 ਆ ਐਵਨਿਊ ਐਂਡ 128 ਸਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਤੇ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਰਫਲੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ 78 ਐਵਨਿਊ 128 ਸੀ ਡੇ ਟੂ ਡੇ ਗਰੋਸਰੀ ਸਟੋਰ ਆ ਰਖੜੀ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਸੇਲ ਲਾਈ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੋਸਟ ਆ on saturday august 21st othe honge from 1 o'clock to onwards and othe jan da ek hor fayda aya you can put your name to win a trip to vegas for two so oh ho jada hai ga ode layi tusi shamil ho sakde ho baki unna ne othe special sale launi hai te othe tusi ja ke inu mana sakde ha at same time uh, happy birthday in advance to you. you your big day is coming on august 24 all the best happy birthday tanwad once again keep it healthy happy keep a social distance jinne bhi protocol se par rakh sakde jo load nahi vi jithe bheed padake wala tha aaya aap da jada mask aap di jeb ch rakhya karo onu la liya karo koi harj nahi everybody if take a precaution it saves everybody tanwad rab rakha have a wonderful happy healthy weekend